Good evening, you are right. Uh, yeah, in a, probably in a much better mood than you are, James. Listen, we've had Les on already, who's a, is a big Evertonian fan home and away. Was you at the game today? Yeah, yeah. I, well, I bored me to death pretty much. Well, well, yeah, that wasn't <laughs> that's what I wanted to ask you, James, because you, I could hear Les's frustrations. Tell me what you're feeling about Everton right now and, and what you think is, is the way forward. It, it's, at the moment, it's difficult to feel anything about Everton. It's just it's just bought. It's bought. From top to bottom, you've got our owner selling us to complete us to fraudsters. You've got a manager who has no plan A, never mind, well, he's got no plan A, never mind a plan B. <laughs> You've got a team with the lack of effort today was an absolute disgrace. You play, do you know what? I, I, Arsenal, it's a good side, yeah, but I'll tell you what, if you just sit back and sit back and sit back and not put a challenge in, they, they, will, they will not play a, a more easier 90 minutes all season. Yeah. I was just that, saying, that would, would I was just saying to Madge uh, in the break there that I, when I was Newcastle manager, I was the manager that we were four 0 down to Arsenal. Uh, uh, was that the, was you in charge of that game? Right, so we're four 0 down at half time. So okay, we, we gonna have to change things. Just get in the face. Da, 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 cut someone, make a tackle. Joey Barton smashes into someone. The centre midfield player loses his head. Centre half actually clips Joey. He gets sent off. Game change. We get the four all. But there wasn't a tackle in that game from Everton today where you could go. What, look, that, that took the crowd with them. Do you know what I mean? You know that tackle that goes that brings the crowd yeah. into play, and that's what it needed. It needs something like that, doesn't it? Do you think that? It, it does. But for for Joe, from the first minute, I wanted a tackle absolutely flying into Gabriel or Saliba. I wanted better to get up to him, get yeah. in the faces. Yeah. Not once in that first half did he get in their face in that midfield. Oh my word! That was even on the pitch. You've got Declan Rice, Torres having absolute rings round Anana and Garner Gate. Oh, I'm sorry, Garner Gate. Oh, my word. <laughs> Dear me, a bit, a bit of effort, please. Yeah. Yeah, it's and, frustrating, you know isn't it? And, but, there's one name out there. Everyone said it. Graham Potter. I'd get him tomorrow. It's great really shout. Would. I'd get him, get him in tomorrow. Jack- Sean Dice. Oh, do you know what? Fantastic. Thank you so much for keeping us up. I, I appreciate that so much. But my word, you are terrible. <laughs> James, I felt it last. I'm a Spurs fan, and you know, under the whole Mourinho and the Conte thing and the style of playing that, and you know, it, it was so flat over Tottenham, and I and I felt I disconnected to the club. I was done. I was so. Do you feel a disconnect with your club at the moment? Uh, do you know, I felt like that for the last three years. Yeah, there's, that, been no yeah. Connect, there's been no connection. That, that owner. Oh, do you know what? He can stay as far away as possible. I know he's so called apparently sold us, but I'll tell you what, selling us to seven seven seven, a bunch of frauds. Is he taking the mick? Mm. James, thank you for your call. Oh. <laughs> Very, uh, James, James could have gone on there. A, he had a groan at the end. Uh, well done, James. Uh, James, listen, I, I, can, I can hear it in the Everton yeah. fans' voices. Uh, it's just, yeah, like I said, there was a disconnect I felt with Spurs and, and, and the style of play. And, uh, you know, as, as a paying customer, because that's what fans are at the mm. end of the day, you know, I'm a paying customer over my football club. And, you know, you, you're coming away bored. Like I was having it at Spurs, I was falling asleep at games pods. I would have fallen asleep at Goodison Park easily yeah. today. You know, look, I mean, Sean Dice is a, is a friend of mine and his assistant is an even bigger friend because he's Steve Stone. He used to work with me. Those guys have been in and around the Premier League game. You look back at Sean's Burnley team. They didn't give anyone a moment no. of space. For whatever reason today, it didn't happen. But I think Sean and Steve and, his, and the coaching team need to sit down, analyse that game and go, come on we got to show these fans that we're going to have a go. And I'm sure there's going to be a reaction, and I really hope so, particularly for those two callers we've had there. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.